Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about using images in Guna buttons. Images are important ways to give information to the user, help them make decisions faster or take actions faster and avoid wasting time. Images can also be used as icons for controls like buttons, labels and so forth. So images help users make decisions or understand the purpose of the button or the function of it without wasting much energy to think about it. For example, a left chevron combined with a button labeled back gives the user an idea of the function of the button that when they click the button they'll be taken to the previous page. Or a right chevron combined with the text forward gives the user an idea that when they click the button they'll be taken to the next page. So images are important. Combined with text they give meaning or give some idea on how the button works. This helps users make decisions faster as they can decipher or understand the purpose of the button without wasting time. So how do we use images? in a guna button well when you select a guna button you will see that uh, under the hover state there is an image property i have images preset so when i select an image by default it's aligned to the center the text is also aligned to the center so the guna button will calculate the size of the text the size of the image and then apply appropriate padding to give a better visual representation of both the text and the image in the control. As we can see, it's better. Let's change the button. As you can see, it's set to toggle button. That is why you can see some changes there. It's set to toggle button. Let's change this to default button and let's run the control. You will see that the relation between the image and the text is appropriate and it's it's meaningful in this exemplary scenario of course you may use these emojis appropriately so how do we change the alignment of the image under the image property we have the alignment field there we can change the alignment for example it can be aligned to left it can be aligned to right it can be aligned to center in addition, we can even set the offset image. For example, if it's aligned to center, how far in the x-axis do we want our image to be placed? If we say 10, it will, be pl it will interfere, for example, with the text. But if we put a negative, it will be far left. So let's say negative 3. Or we can change to negative 5 and so forth. How far placed would we want it to be in the y-axis? If we set it to a positive number, it will be aligned toward the bottom or the image will be pushed toward the bottom. When we set a negative toward the top. So we can choose whatever, wherever we want our image to be located by applying the offset which applies the appropriate padding for the image. We can also set the image size by default is sent to 20 pixel but we can change to 25 pixels and then the height to 25 pixels and let's set the offset to zero. There you can see the image along the y-axis let's say to negative Five. There we have our Guna button with a beautiful image which works or acts as an icon. There you have it. So you can use images to give a very important message, feedback to the user, the purpose of the button itself, and that will help them make decisions faster. Images, remember, can also be used as icons. So this is how we use images in a Guna button. Thank you.